Thank you so much for tuning in to today's story time. Before we get into it, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and turn on your post bell notifications. So we are going to get right into it, y'all. You already read the title, so you already know we're going to be talking about... Ooh, this is crazy. This is really crazy. Give me one second. Okay, y'all. So... Remember how I told y'all that one story time about how my best friend felt like I like backdoored her? This is about her. So I think I called her Mercedes in that story. So we are going to stick with the same name. Also, happy Valentine's Day. Whatever you choose to do this weekend for Valentine's Day or on actual Valentine's Day, be safe. Wrap it up. Or don't. Or don't. I'm just kidding. But yeah, have fun, be safe, all that good stuff. Love y'all so much. Okay, so back to the story. So, yes, I think I named her Mercedes in that story time. If I didn't, that's who I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure that's what I named her though. So, me and Mercedes was locked in twins when we was in high school, right? So, and the guys that I'm going to be talking about, I'm not going to give them names because that's just too much. I'm going to just call them their numbers. And you're going to see what I mean as I keep talking. Okay. I remember this whole week. She just kept saying like, oh my gosh, the away team that we playing. Like, it's some really, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, y'all. Some really like fine boys. Like, we got to get there early. Because we used to get there early and like walk around the stadium. And they would be like warming up and stuff on their side of the field. Like on the away side. So, I'm just like, okay. Now, let me just point out this little key thing about Mercedes. Because it's going to make sense in the story. She was the type, she like, I thought I was, like, kind of boy crazy, like, boy hungry in school, but she was psychotic. She would meet a boy and instantly, like, be like, that's my man, that's my boyfriend, I don't want to talk to nobody else, I'm locked in, tunnel vision, I don't see nobody, I don't hear nobody, I don't even, even want to look at nobody. And she would just met the guy, like, five minutes ago. This is the type of a girl that she was. Keep that in mind. So we get there. The away team is there. We're walking around and we just posted on the fence, like on the away side, just you know, talking, watching them warm up and stuff. And this guy comes up to us, and you know, at first he's talking to both of us, like, hey, how y'all doing? Blah blah blah. Like, oh y'all so pretty with y'all names, da da da. We gonna name him number five because that's what jersey number he has. So number five just over there talking to us. He making us laugh. Like it's cool. It's whatever. I'm not really, you know, I'm not paying attention. Like it's it's whatever to me. But he was more so talking to like Mercedes. But you know, just talking to me too. But you could tell he approached us because he was like interested in Mercedes, right? So we're talking. A couple minutes pass. Then his homeboy walks up and so Mercedes Boo is number five. The guy who we gonna refer to as my boo in this story. This man was not my boo. We gonna call him number three. So number three walk up and he's same thing. Hey, how y'all doing? What's y'all names? Da da da. da. Y'all so pretty. Blah blah blah. We talking. Whatever. They eventually gotta go back into the locker room. The game from the start. So before that though, we I was talking to number three. He was like, "You look so familiar." Now you know how guys be like, "Do I know you from somewhere?" You don't know me from a can of paint. But he was like, no, like, I think I'm friends with you on Facebook. And this was around the time that when I first got a Facebook, I was accepting any and everybody. Like, I didn't know half the people on my Facebook. Now, my Facebook is locked down. I will not give y'all access to my Facebook because my family is on there. Like, all of that. It's, it's, like, more personal now. And I had to, like, go through, like, I had, like, when I was in school, I had, like, the max amount of Facebook friends. That's how... Like, I was just accepting anybody. I had to, like, go through all of my friends on Facebook and delete people that I didn't know. Like, it was so many people. And I actually need to go back and do that again. But, anyways. So, he was like, I follow you on Facebook. Like, we friends on Facebook. And I'm just like, what? So, he tell me his name. And sure enough, we is friends on Facebook. Like, we had never, like, talked or DM'd or messaged or nothing. But, we was friends on Facebook. So, I'm like, wow. He was like... If I message you after the game, like, you gonna hit me back? And I was like, yeah, I got you for sure. So, whatever. That night happens. Um, we lost the game. Uh, whatever. So, he messaged me talking smack. Like, ah, we beat y'all, da, 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 So, we talking. And it was, like, late when we was messaging. And I just remember 
before I got off, like, and I went to sleep, I just, like, gave him my number. And he was like, okay, bet, like, I'm gonna lock you in. Now, we probably sent, like, two or three text messages before, like, I went to sleep that night. I did not save this man's number. It's not like I wasn't going to. I just didn't think to save his number because I went to sleep. You know, like, it's not that deep. So... I go to sleep and I'm awoken. Keep in mind, this happened Friday night. Saturday morning come, the weekend, I don't got no job, I don't got no school. It's no reason for me to be up at like 6, 7, 8 a.m. It's no reason. I'm in the bed. I'm going to wake up when I wake up. And if you know me in real life, you know I'm not a morning person. Like, you going to have to give me a second to warm up a little. you going to have to give me a few seconds to warm up because I don't like when people wake up in the morning and they're so like happy and chipper like i'm irritated i'm not a morning person i'm not anybody who knows me they will tell you that i'm just i'm not a morning person so anyways so this number keeps calling me like i'm not gonna say like keeps calling me. they call a couple times and um did he text i think i just had two missed calls and i called back because i'm like who is this like who is calling me? i'm thinking like you know it's somebody important or family member or something like that so i call back and I'm like, hello? And then he's like, hey, wake up, man. Like, rise and shine. Wake up. Like, I'm calling you. You need to wake up. It's 8 o'clock. I'm like, who is this? He go, oh, no, nah, don't do me like that, bro. We just started talking. You gonna do me like that? You ain't saying my number. I was like, number three? Boy, why are you calling me at 8 a.m. on a Saturday? Be so fucking for real right now. Be for real. He like, that's late. I don't know what time you wake up in your household, but we don't even play like that over here. So I'm literally like still in the bed under the covers, scarf on, bonnet on, it's cold, like, I'm confused. I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. I, so he like, man, wake up, I'm finna FaceTime you. I'm like, no, you're not. No, you're not. I'm still in the bed. I got crust in my eye, bitch. My bonnet is on. No. He's like, man, I don't care about none of that. I'm like, no, you're not finna FaceTime me. Like, no, you're not. We can have this conversation. Whatever you got to say, we can have it on the phone. I'm not going for it. So, he basically was just like, what y'all doing today? Like, what are you doing today? Like, do you have plans? And I'm just like, as of right now, no, I don't. Um, why, what's up? Because you asking for a reason, so why? So, remember I told y'all this was an away team. So, he did not live in my hometown. He lived, like, 30, 45 minutes away. So, it turns out that one of the guys he played football with um, had a cousin who I went to school with. And the guy, hella nice, hella cool, then been to his house, like, a couple times. He done had, like, kickbacks and stuff. So, basically, he was saying, like, he, as in number three, was saying him and number five and, like, a couple more people from the football team, they're going to come back to my hometown tonight because the guy I go to school with is having a kickback and, like, we should come. So I'm like, okay, bet. You're like, yeah, that sounds fun. Like, bet. Cool. Like, it's a plan. So, he's like, okay, I'm going to, like, text you, whatever, call you later, whatever he said. We hung up the phone. So, um, I call Mercedes and I'm like, hey, girl, like, don't make plans today. Like, we going to da 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 house for a kickback. Um, number three just told me to tell you because he going to bring number five and blah, blah, blah. Now, keep in mind, I said I just woke up, bro. I just woke up. These were not, like, pre-made plans. I didn't know beforehand. Like, he literally just sprung this on me, and I was like, cool, right? So, I tell her, and I'm like, um, yeah, number, number three said blah, 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 blah. And she goes, um, okay, yeah, that's fine, but why number five didn't tell me that he was going to be back in town? I just said, he just told, I'm like, girl, I don't know, like, maybe he don't know, like, maybe he's telling number five just like how I'm telling you right now. Why does that matter? He going to be here. Why does that matter? So she's just like, okay, yeah, like, come scoop me. I'm like, you can sleep over at my house tonight, like... I gotta go to the <laughs> if you know me in real life you know anything anytime I go somewhere I go out like I'm outside I go to a function whatever I go to the club I need a new outfit every time I do something I don't know why I'm like this I'm still like this to this day 10 years later like I need a new outfit I'm gonna go get a new outfit actually I am I'm gonna go get a new outfit and that's just what it is so i'm like we're gonna go to the mall we're 
we're gonna go get something to eat we just gonna chill we're gonna hang out today and then we gonna go to the function later right so cool i go to scoop her i get ready and stuff some time passed i goes to get her we go straight to the mall one thing that i will say about number three was he was a six uh what S -s 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 he was a surprisingly good communicator for our age group. Like, and I mean, I don't mean like we're going through troubles and you know how to communicate your feel. No, like not like that. But he was good at like texting because I'm a fast texter. I'm not one of those people who I'm away five minutes after you text me so I don't seem thirsty. No, I don't care about none of that. If I'm texting him at 102, he responded at 102. If I text back at 103, he responded at 104. If he responded at 104, I'm responding at 104. It's like that. Like, if my phone in my hand and I know we having a conversation, I don't care about texting fast. I, I don't care about none of that. We was here when it came to that. So, I said all that to say, um, like, when we was on the way to the mall, um, I can't remember if he was texting me. Or if he called me or both, whatever. Do y'all hear my dog in the back? Ace. But we good. Um, but we were like communicating. No big deal, right? Like, and I'm not even looking at dude like this my boo, this my potential boo. Like I'm into him. No, y'all. Like I just met him. We exchanged numbers, and that's just it is what it is. Like, don't put too much. Don't do too much. Don't do too much. Please don't do too much. So, I can see that she was um texting number five. And she had texted this man, like, I don't know, y'all, like, three, four times back to back in a row. And he was not responding. But I didn't say nothing because if you don't say nothing, I didn't see. I'm not going to say nothing. If you don't bring it up to me, I don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just like, oh, okay, well. I don't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> so, we get to the mall, y'all. And like I said, I'm not doing too much. This man is not my man, not my boyfriend. I don't know you. So, the guys was outside. The guys were outside this day. Like, when I say we walked into this mall and it was guys everywhere. Now, like I said, I'm the type... Yeah, I, I'm going to step every time. If I see you and I like you, I see you and I want you and I like you, we could do this the easy way or we could do this the hard way. No, I'm just kidding. But no, for real, like, if I think you cute, I'm going to step every time. I've never been the type to, like, be scared. Like, oh, I'm not, I'm going to wait for him to say something. To, no, no. As y'all can see from past story times, I'm going to step every time. You get a number, you get a number, you get a number, you get a number. Everybody gets a number. So the guys was choosing. And I was choosing right back. Yeah. I got numbers that day. Absolutely I did. Now Mercedes on the other hand was acting like number five was her husband. And she just did not want to step out and cheat on her husband. So she just, she couldn't even, it was just going to be awful if she just even looked at a guy. She didn't want to get no numbers. Guys, was, and I, when I say guys, I mean no disrespect to code name number five. But... It was guys way more attractive than number five approaching Mercedes. And she was really like dodging them, like really curving them. Like, no, thank you. I'm good. I got a boo. And I'm sitting here looking like, who is your boo? Because surely you're not talking about old boy from yesterday. It hasn't even been a full 24 hours. And from what I can see, he not even, whatever, that don't got nothing to do with me. Hey, more numbers for me, Pooh, thanks. So, <laughs> we at the mall, and I do remember this time, number, uh, number three had caught me. Because we was there for like a little minute, like a couple hours. And he like, man, y'all still in traffic? Like, what's up? Like, I thought you was going to be back home by now. Like, what's up? Like, what you doing? And I'm just like... Um, yeah, it's like really like nothing at this mall. So we was going to leave the mall and go to, um, this other little place, which I don't want to give too much information, but it's like I told y'all before, like in past story times, it's like this little outdoor mall. Basically, that's what it is. It's like an outdoor mall. It's like a plaza with a whole bunch of stuff, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, yeah, we finna leave here and go to da 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 and blah, blah, blah. 
so he like when you go to the next floor like send me some pictures like like show me like the outfit so i can help you da 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 i'm like okay that like you know we just vibing on the phone like he a good time like i'm not trying to like move too fast and like do too much but like yeah cool like i got you so um when i get off the phone we come back to the parking lot i get off the phone we get to the car and she was like um do you know if number five is with um number three and i was like hmm i don't know so i text him and i'm like um where you at like you at home and is your friend with you he like yeah i'm with the guys we just like at the crib like playing video games whatever they do right so we go to the next place i find what i'm looking for everything cool we go back to my house we get food on the way and we really just chill it i'm i remember i was home by myself this weekend well not this weekend but like this day because my grandparents they were somewhere and my mama she was doing whatever she was doing i don't know um but it was nobody home when me and mercedes had got back to my house right so next thing you know some time passed and i get in the shower and you know it's time to get ready right so i remember i was in the shower doing what i was doing in the shower and then i come back to my room and mercedes was like um yo boo been blowing down your phone but i didn't answer but he was like calling and texting you so i'm just like oh okay like let me call him back so i'm like hey what's up my bad i was in the shower like what's up and then he was like oh no i was just checking on you um we finna leave here and da 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 amount of time so y'all can go ahead and head to dude house and we could just like pull up at the same time so i'm like okay bet um and then like i'm on the phone and then she's like mercedes is like ask him where number five is so i'm like where is um number five at because um my best friend been texting him and he ain't been responding so he was like oh that nigga downstairs on the game like let me go see real quick let me go ask him blah blah, blah. y'all after this phone call the whole night went down the whole night the the whole night just just listen okay so keep in mind my whole house is quiet we don't got no music playing no tv on no nothing i don't have number three on speakerphone but but mercedes can hear him you know like my phone loud enough you can hear what the person's saying if it's like dead quiet in the room he on the other hand had me on speakerphone so he like number five bro you tripping why you ain't um hit your girl back this nigga goes who the fuck is my girl? Everybody started laughing. All the homeboys, number three, number five, everybody is laughing. And I'm just sitting there like, oh my God, this is so awkward. What are y'all laughing at? I'm like, what's funny? So he like, hold on, hold on, baby, hold on. Puts the phone on mute. Muted the phone. Keep in mind, all of them are laughing, 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 laughing. Who the fuck is my girl? And I'm just looking over at her like, he said, hold on, girl. Hold on real quick. He go, we going to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> so he takes the phone off mute. It's silent. Silent. And he like, my bad. Yeah, he said he was going to hit her back. His phone just on the charger. He was playing the game. But yeah, he for sure going to hit her back. And I was just like, why you put the phone on mute? He like, I put the phone on mute. Huh? Do you take me for an idiot? Do I have stupid? I was like, don't do that. He was like, nah, nah, I just, I, like, it's, don't trip, don't trip. It's not even like that. But I thought you just said you didn't put the phone on mute. So now you're telling me not to trip because you did put the phone on mute? Oh, okay. You trying to embarrass my friend and I don't like that. But anyways, okay, cool. So, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to see you at Dude House, whatever, whatever. Text me when you want to wait. Boom, hang up. She just standing there. I could tell she's very irritated. Very irritated. And like, okay, let me not get ahead of myself. Y'all gonna see. So, we get dressed, we get ready, we head to do house. We get there and let me paint the um, the scene for y'all. So, dude Pierce had a fat house. Fat house. It's so big, it's so nice. It's actually like, a very nice house for well I'm not gonna say that because a lot of houses are really nice in my hometown if you know you know but um so basically it was like an open space like an open layout like the living room the kitchen the dining area like everything like it was an open space so me and number three are sitting on 
a love seat like next to each other and then it's a like giant ass sectional across from us and some other people were sitting on the couch but also number five and mercedes was like sitting on like the end of the sectional right so like she was on the part where like nobody could sit next to her and then somebody could sit next to number five but they didn't have to be like all close to him you know what i'm saying so <laughs> me and number three sitting on the couch talking and he has his arm like like on the back of the couch like behind me but he don't have like his arm on me but it's like behind me and I'm like turned like facing him and we're just like talking like that like read the body language read the room right number five on the other hand so you know how like when dudes sit on the couch and they like scooch like down in the couch a little bit and because like they have on like jeans so he's like scooched down like in the couch and he's like he had like a thought haircut he's like twisting this one little piece of hair in the top of his head and he's like on his phone and mercedes is face towards him like talking and it's just giving he was not talking to her like he wasn't interested like she was talking he would occasionally look up like huh oh yeah 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 what what you say oh yeah for sure uh-huh oh yeah uh-huh like just not just on his phone he literally like was just on his phone the whole time so i could tell irritation irritation level just building and building and building up and i'm over here having a time of my life with number three he making me laugh we joking we looking at stuff on twitter it's funny whatever so I text her and I'm like, are you good? Like, you okay? You straight? Like, you need anything? She's like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm like, you want to go to the bathroom real quick and talk? She's like, no, I'm fine. Okay, cool. You tell me you good? You a big girl? Like, I don't need the baby you. I'm not your mama. I'm going to ask one time. So you tell me you good? I'm going to believe you, right? So time and time is going on and I can see that her and number five had like scooted like a little bit away from each other. So again, I text her like, you good? You okay? Now, by this time, because when we first got there, it was like daytime still. The blinds was like um, open, sunlight was coming through the house or whatever. So now it's like dark um, outside and the lights are off and dude that I went to school with he had like these um led like little party lights in his um living room whenever he used to have kickbacks so you could see like just the party lights but it was like dark in the whole house right so you know when it's dark and somebody like texts you or like you look at something on your phone and your brightness is up you can clearly see like somebody can clearly see when you open your phone like you look at your screen because the reflection of your phone is like on your face right i know i'm the only one texting her y'all so I, again i text her you good y'all why she look at my message and just locked her phone like she looked at it read it and then just locked her phone Bitch, I can see you ignoring my text message. What are... I'm confused. I'm very confused. So, I'm just like, alright. You want to act like that, go ahead and act like that. Keep in mind, I personally, me, Lo, never did anything to this girl. Never did anything to this girl. Mercedes was the type of girl to take out her frustration on the people around her. Not the person who was actually like wronging her or making her upset. She used to take it out on her friends. And I always used to tell her like, bitch, you're never, you're not going to end up with any friends in the long run if you keep acting like that. Like I'm trying to help you and you get mad at me. Keep this in mind. Okay, so before I get into this next part. Just know, um, like I always tell y'all, I'm very open, I'm transparent, I tell y'all the good, the bad, the ugly, everything in between. I am who I am and it has taken me almost all of my life to embrace who I truly am. Who I am, all of my shortcomings, everything that I've been through, I embrace that because that made me who I am today, right? Now, with that being said, I used to be very insecure about my body i was tall i'm linky i barely got a booty and i didn't have any boobs y'all i still don't have boobs like to this day i mean they okay but back then i used to think that that should be like such a huge part of my identity like i need boobs i need boobs right so in all like fun and games i used to tell my best friends that i used to stuff my bra okay i'm just not ready for all of this it's just <sighs> 
I used to stuff my bra. I did. I did it. I did it. I sure did. I used to stuff my bra. I used to buy push-up bras from Victoria's Secret. And I used to buy little gel um, silicone-like inserts. And I used to stuff my bra. I did. Now, because even back then, I never needed boobs to get a man. Let's be clear. I never needed that to get a man, keep a man, your man, my man, her man, anybody okay let's be clear but it was just like a mental thing for me like i i was like an adult when i realized like i don't need to do this like i don't need to stuff my bra i don't need to act like i'm somebody that i'm not like i don't need to do that but back then when i was in school yes i used to do that and i used all three of my best friends knew that and it was just like an ongoing like inside joke between us like Lauren, one of your boobs lopsided. Like, hold on, bitch. Like, hold on, let me fix you. Like, I see one of your boobs coming. Like, hold on, let me let me fix you up. Like, hold on, let's make sure. Like, you good. Because you know you stuff your bra. So, we got to make sure you straight. Because you putting some... You know, like, it just used to be funny. And I never told them that in confidence. Thinking that they would go back and tell somebody else. Or try to, like, use that against me, right? So... We start playing Never Have I Ever. Everybody going around saying they things. Take a sip if you've done it. Um, don't take a sip if you haven't, right? We get some rounds to Mercedes and she goes, Never have I ever stuffed my bra. That kind of hurted me though. Because it's like, why would you think that of me? Now, I'm laughing as a defense mechanism right now because I'm really just irritated that you just said that. But, of course, what I'm going to do, I'm going to deny and I'm going to lie until I die because nobody knows that except you. So, I'm just like, what? Like, who do that? Like, oh, nah, who do that? And I'm looking at the bitch like, I know she's not serious right now. She goes, because I didn't drink. She goes, Lauren, take a sip. Number five is like, what? Everybody, and keep in mind, it's majority guys at this kickback. I said Mercedes. Never did you just say that I stuffed my bra. I don't do that. She goes, oh, I thought, I, I thought you told me that one time. Crack. Y'all back smoking crack. Swear you just said that in front of all of these guys. Swear you just said that in front of all of these guys. Swear you just turned into one of the females that we talk about in front of all of these guys. I said no, I didn't tell you that ever. So now I got beef with you. I really got beef with you now and I'm not going to even do it to you in front of all of these people. But why would you just sit up here and play me like that? So the game is over with. We go back to talking. We as in me and number three. And he was like, you used to stuff your bra. I was like, no, I don't know why she play like that. Like, she always try to, like, play like that in front of people, and that's not cool. He was like, you know you don't need to stuff your bra, right? Like, you good. Like, you good? I'm just like, I don't stuff my bra. The lie was very convincing. The lie was very, very convincing. Because he, he was like, yeah, you, I, I knew it. Like, you would never. Like, you don't seem like the type to be. And I'm just like, <laughs> boy, you right. You not right, but we gonna act like you right. I'm just like, never did she just say that in front of these guys. Like, bitch, I really hope that you get picked. I really hope that you get picked. Because you just tried to play me in front of all of these niggas? Bitch. So I'm like, wow, 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 wow. So we just sitting over there talking, and at one point, me and him was both looking at number five and Mercedes. And I'm like, what's up with your boy? Like, yesterday, he just seemed like he was so into um, into my friend. And now it's just not, it's just, it's giving, like, dry. He like, man, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even think, like, he into her like that for real. Because she trying to be too serious. And my boy not even, like, going for none of that. Like, he really didn't even want to, like, come tonight. My boy just came down here because I wanted to see you. And I knew you was going to be with your friends. So, it just, it is what it is. But I don't think, like, he really, like, into her, like, how she is into him, basically. And I'm just like, well... 
after the stuff that she just pulled, he shouldn't be. And he like, yeah, like, I can't believe she just did that. I was, because he thought me and her was just, like, mute, like, friends. Like, you know, just not good friends. When I was telling him that that's my best friend, he was like, I didn't even know y'all was best friends. Like, that's crazy that she just, like, tried to embarrass you, like, her best friend in front of all these people. I'm like, exactly. And he like, man, if dude wasn't into her before, like, he definitely not even going to be checking for her now. Because, like, that shit is whack, right? right so i'm like right like i'm irritated and like she rode with me she's supposed to be spending the night in my house like i'm just i'm over it i know how to ignore a bitch though so that's exactly what i did i'm ignoring her i'm not looking at her i'm not talking to her don't come in my direction don't breathe the same air as me after the shit that you just pulled bitch so what happened after that? Okay, so, like, the kickback is starting to, like, it's starting to, like, get late a little bit. People is leaving. And number three and number five and um, the other boys that they came with, it was, like, four other boys. We was all just talking, like, me and all of them. And then number three was, like, we finna go get some food. Um, You trying to slide? And I'm just, like, yeah. And then I'm, like, it's not just going to be me, though. It's going to be me and Mercedes because we rode together, whatever. And he was, like, yeah, like, that's fine. You know, guys don't care about, like, little stuff like that. I'm just like, okay, like, yeah, y'all could go, and I'm gonna just follow behind y'all, whatever, right? So, we go, and if you know, you know, the cookout in Columbia on two nights used to stop. I don't know what it's hitting for now, but back when we was in school, mm-hmm, the tray gonna hit every time. So we go to cookout and we go inside and it's kind of late. It's a few, it's a few teenagers up in there. Whatever, go sit in the booth. It's okay. So it's me and number three on this side of the booth, and then it's Mercedes number five, and then one of their friends on this side, and then the rest of the homeboys went to the booth um, behind us, right? So why the one little friend decided to sit in the booth? I don't know why he did that, but whatever. So um, me personally, when I go to a restaurant. And, like, you got to go to the counter to get the food, like, order the food. I don't like just standing there looking at the menu, and I'm just confused. And I'm just like, mm, I think I'm going to get this with this with this. And the cashier just standing there like, I'm, re I'm ready when you are. I'm ready when you are. Come on up. You, you ready to order? Oh, okay. You ready now? No, I'm not. Hold on. Give me, you know, like, I don't like feeling, like, pressured. So, I want to go sit down. I'm looking at the menu. I know what I want. And dude, number three was like, tell me what you want. I'm going to go get it for you. I'm like, no, you good. Like, you don't got to. You don't got to. You you really don't got to buy me my food. He like, I know I don't got to. I got you though. Yeah. You do that. You do that. So, keep in mind, this whole time, I forgot to mention this. On the way there, on the car right there. Mercedes was trying to talk to me. And I was not talking to that bitch. I turned my music up. And I'm having, I'm just having a blast by myself don't try to talk to me don't try to apologize don't try to do none of that because you should have never tried to embarrass me in front of these men like that how you just did because what is it what was you gonna accomplish like what was you trying to accomplish from that embarrassing me your bestie for the resty in front of these men for a guy who not even into you so girl please mm -mm, i'm not trying to hear it so we get up in the restaurant she huffing and puffing she she all in the in the booth like this, like with her arm, like all she all in her phone. She like turned towards the window. I'm just like, girl, I don't give a damn about none of that. Poo. I don't care. I don't care. So the guys, they get out the booth, they go to order the food, they get the food, bring the food back. Mercedes did not eat. Nor did number five offer to pay for her stuff, as he shouldn't have. Fuck. And yeah, we just chilling, we vibing. So we in there for probably about like 20 minutes or something like that. And then these group of girls walk in. Very cute, very pretty girls. They kind of loud a little bit, but they sit in um, another booth like a little bit across from where we was at, right? So, um, we talking, we eating or whatever, and I see that they keep like looking over here. Now, to me, it was giving like, like again, like read the body language, read the room. If you didn't know me and number three, you would think like we was a couple. Because we was like sitting next to each other, like really close, like shoulder to shoulder. We eating, we talking, we laughing. Number three, I mean number five was just sitting there. It was very awkward. He was in the middle, first of all. But 
I almost said her real name. Mercedes had her body like turned this way and like was not like talking, engaged in conversation, nothing. She just on her phone, ignoring us, and the rest of us is just talking. So <clears throat> one of the girls from the booth walk over to um to our booth. And we talking, we laughing, whatever. And she's like, hey, y'all, um, I'm so sorry to interrupt y'all conversation. I'm like, hey, girl, like, no, you good. Um, like, what's up? So she's like, I just wanted to ask you, like, talk to number five. Like, I just wanted to ask you if you had a girlfriend. Now, y'all know I told y'all I used to step, okay? If I like you, if I think you cute, I'm going to step, Okay? She was matching the same energy that I be on. She stepped to this man. She really stepped to him. And when I tell you she shot her shot and that bitch was all net. What? So he like, no, I don't have a girlfriend. Why? Like looking at her like you could be my next girlfriend. That's what you want to ask me. So she was like, oh, good. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, I know this is so weird. Let's say her name was like Claire. She was. <laughs> She was like one of those black girls who, you know, hang out with, you know, but she was with other black girls. But, you know, she, you know, you know, you know the vibes. Okay. So she's like, my name's Claire. Um, if you don't have a girlfriend, oh, like, good, you don't have a girlfriend. Um, do you mind if I put my number in your phone? Like, I didn't know how to approach you, but my friends just said I should just come and talk to you. Um... Instead of just just only like looking at you because I didn't know if you saw me look like just really like she talking, talking, talking. So he take out his phone and he opened up his contacts and she put his she put her number in his phone. And she was like, um, yeah, my name's Claire. I'm going to say my name um, with like a pink heart emoji. And then he was like, OK, I'm going to lock you in right now. Like I'm going to text you so you can say my information. And she was like, what would you say your name was again? He was like, number five. She was like, OK, number five. It was so nice talking to you. Like, I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. Like, bye. And then just walked off. Now, remember I told y'all Mercedes was sitting there like with the stank on her. When little Miss Claire bebopped her way over to your boo. And just snatched him on up away from you. Now you want to turn and look at him and look at me and look at number three. She just looking, 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 looking. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Okay. Number five, I'm not looking at her. I'm looking, but I'm just like, what? I dare you to say something. I want you to say something. They laughing. The homeboys laugh. Everybody just thinking so funny. I'm just like, wow. Like, I'm like, she was so bold and brave for just walking up to you in front of your friends like that. Like, yeah, that's the type of energy that I like. Like, I love that for you, Claire. And if you ever see this, Claire, I hope you and number five got married. Because y'all look good together. <laughs> yeah, we was just like parking lot pimping for a while, actually. Like, just talking. Um... And number three had a truck, but like a three row. It was like a Tahoe or some shit like that. And um, so yeah, we outside, and then the girls they was in their car outside of the restaurant. So Mercedes is in my car with the door open, just on her phone. Me and number three on the outside of my car, like on the driver's side, but you know, like by the hood. And then once the guys that they came with seen that the girls was still there, they all got out of number three truck and went over to Claire them car to talk, right? So it is what it is. They over there choosing, the girls over there choosing, Mercedes just shit out of luck. Cause you should have never did that bitch. Like none of them want to talk to you now. Cause you just really tried to embarrass your own best friend. like. I, like I still to this day don't know like what did you think you was gonna get out of that like did you think that number five was gonna be like wow she stuffed her bra a girl who I'm not even interested in I don't even want to talk to my bro was talking to wow she did that and you don't wow I love you I want to be with you bitch so Whatever, that's that's happening or whatever, and they talking, and she goes, Lauren, when are we going back to your house? Like, can we leave soon? Like, I'm getting tired. And I'm just talking to number three, like, okay, I'm going to just call you when I get home, because whatever. She going back to my house. I really would drop this bitch back off home. 
but I don't feel like going all the way deep down in the country. She, cause she lived in the country. She lived in the country. She lived so far out of the way. I like where my grandparents live, where their house is at, because I could just hit a little one too, and be right on the interstate to get to where I'm going. Like she lives so out of the way, and I didn't feel like going deep down on the dirt roads into the country. So I'm just like, I'm just, I'm gonna take her home in the morning. So. He like, okay, cool, whatever. It's like chill vibes. Like we wasn't kissing or nothing like that. Like maybe I gave him like a kiss on the cheek or something, but it was not like, don't do too much, bro. Like don't do too much. So we hug whatever we leave. And um, the next morning I was up at the crack of ass. Um, And I said, I lied. I sure did. I lied. And I said, I got something to do today. Like me and my family. So I'm going to have to take you home early. When I say it was early, y'all. Y'all know I'm not a morning person. I set my alarm specifically because I wanted to get her the hell up out of my house. I set my alarm. It was like 7 o'clock. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to just take you home real quick. Because I forgot we got to do something. And blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, okay. Um, do you want to talk about what happened last night? No. I don't. No, I don't. I'm good. So, I drop her off home and she texts my phone like all day. I'm not responding. Y'all, I went back home and went to sleep. And that was just that. So, the lesson that we can learn from Mercedes is do not be a pick me. Don't be a pick me. Like, we used to talk about girls like that. We used to talk about guys. You ever been chilling? Like, you ever been chilling? Like, you're a female. You ever been chilling with a guy or, like, some guys? And one of the guys be like, just randomly be like, Um, do anybody got change for a $20 million bill? Anybody? Anybody got change? Or, like, they just start, like, fake fighting their friends or, like, Man, you remember that one time in third grade you had borrowed them drawers from me? I'm going to need them back. That is so unattractive, bro. Do not be a pick-me-ass bitch. Don't do it. Oh. And I'm not friends with that girl to this day. I'm not. Um, I'm not going to say that was, like, the main reason why we stopped being friends. But, like, once all of these little, like, situations start, like, building up. And I got stories about her for days. Like, remember I told y'all um, in the last story time that I mentioned her in that um, this guy that I was, like, fake talking to, whatever. He had a crush on me, whatever. He told her to put him on with me. And then she told me and my other best friend that she wanted to have a baby with him and named the baby after him. Remember, I thought, like, all of these little things, it's just like, bitch, you not really my best friend. And it's giving, like, you feeling some type of way about me. And I don't like that. She was a weirdo. And then years later, she tried to, like, be my friend again. I'm just like, girl, no. Because remember, when you used to try to steal my boyfriends away from me or embarrass me or just. So yeah y'all that was about the time that my best friend decided to be a pick me and it was an epic fail and you got your man your man snatched right from under your nose hmm. that's what you get so yeah y'all if y'all like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you didn't subscribe before go ahead and do it now leave me a comment turn on your notifications and i'm gonna see y'all in my next story time